Baby, oh my gosh. I'ma take it back, I don't like it. Hi everybody, I am Chantel and thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new to this channel, I'm Telly Tell and I do videos on fragrances, bath and body works, some hauls, some reviews, just a little bit of everything, girl. If you are an OG but a goodie, thank you so much for joining me today. I really, really appreciate your love and your support. If you want to get to know me a little bit better, I am going to leave my TikTok on the screen as well as my Instagram on the screen so that you can follow me. I am going to share with you some of the vanillas that I have literally been having a love affair with within the last month. Now this isn't necessarily a vanilla perfume but this is a gourmand type of perfume that I've been really really loving digging and feeling and for the price point I should not be wearing it as much as I have been wearing it for the last <laughs> couple of weeks but this is by the brand Casa Marati and it is called Dama Bianca. This is described as a powdery vanilla scent with some musky notes, some woodsy notes, a little bit of floral and some ambery notes as well. Grantica describes the notes as the top note having kum kumquat as well as some lime. The mid notes has Italian iris, violet, lilac, Egyptian jasmine, and lily of the valley. The base notes have vanilla malt <laughs> and brett, which is musk mallow some white musk, sandalwood, as well as some cedar. For this fragrance to have as many notes as it has, it is extremely well blended. I don't know how a kumquat smell, so I am going to do my very best on describing what I get from this fragrance. When I spray it, immediately I get something fruity, which must be the kumquat. And to me, it smells like a honeyed orange i know that sounds weird but a honey orange which must be the lime mixed in with that kumquat and then i get loads of vanilla i get some of that cedar to kind of make it to where it could almost be a little bit unisex and then i get white musk and then i smell the jasmine as well the other notes i can't really identify and that could be because i'm not very familiar with the natural smell of each of those other notes but i do know that i've been wearing this with various things i've been wearing it with vanilla based lotions i've been wearing it with um fruity based lotions and i've also been wearing it with bum bum cream which is like my go-to <laughs> cream when i can't figure out what to wear something with and i have fell in love with it i've worn the sol de janeiro bum bum as well as the i want to say that is elasta no I can't remember the name of the cream off the top of my head, but I saw someone mention it on TikTok and I hate that I did not get her name because I would love to give her credit for this, but I'll put the cream on the screen. I talked about it in my shorts or I made a short about it because those two actually smell very, very similar. So they layer very, very well and they bounce off of each other very well. To me, this smells like a pretty girl scent. <laughs> Now, when I think about fragrances and I think about when I'm getting dressed in the morning, I'm thinking about what I'm wearing and I'm thinking about what vibes I want to go for for the day. And when I put this on, I immediately think I am going for a very pretty and put together vibe and I want to make sure my makeup is put together and I want to have an outfit that I feel very confident in. And this fragrance just literally tops it off every single time. It's also kind of refreshing because even though it is a um, very safe fragrance, meaning that the people around you will not like feel repulsed or repelled by it and it's not a very different scent fragrance, it still is something that not a lot of individuals are wearing. So I feel really good when I'm wearing this. It is pretty expensive, but to me it's worth it. Um, or, and also with the expensive note, it does not last as long as I would like to. I've have I've had several other scents from the Casa Marati line that last six to eight hours. This one I'm getting a good solid five hours on skin. I could get about six to seven hours, or on clothes I can get six to seven hours, but on my skin I maybe get a solid five hours. But just for the scent alone, I definitely recommend it because I love it just so very much. It's a nice pretty girl scent and it's something that not a lot of people will be smelling like but it's safe enough to wear it will not bother anyone and it could still be considered a crowd pleaser if that makes sense. So that is Casamarati's Dama Bianca. 
The next perfume that I have, and it's the second most expensive one on the list, is by Nest, and it's called Madagascar Vanilla. And this is described as a vanilla, coconutty, slab, powdery, and lactonic scent. Now, when it says lactonic and coconut-ish, I don't necessarily get this. And let me give you the notes before I actually get into what I actually get from the fragrance. Fragrantica says it has a top note of vanilla bean, it has a mid note of orchid, and it has a base of coconut. To me, I definitely get that vanilla bean note. I also get that orchid note. And it's almost the same vanilla bean and orchid combination that's in the Billie Eilish that I'm remembering off the top of my head. The uh, Katy Perry, Katy Perry Potion as well as Warm Vanilla Sugar. And that <laughs> vanilla and orchid combination is just love. I've heard people mentioning that this reminds them of Vanilla Bean Noel and I can, not Vanilla Bean Noel, but Warm Vanilla Sugar from Bath and Body Works. And I can see how one could say that, but this to me, while it is in the same family as warm vanilla sugar one it doesn't have that burnt sugar slash musk scent that really makes warm vanilla sugar wvs like i just love warm vanilla sugar and then two this one is a little bit more adult like or a little bit more mature it almost smells like it get it has some woods in it to me it smells like it has something like sandalwood in it or some type of woodsy note in it to keep the vanilla from being too sweet keep it from being too candy like and keep it from being too youthful now I would not say that this is like a boss chick and I don't necessarily like describing scents as boss fragrances but that's a whole nother thing but I wouldn't say it's like a power woman or boss type of fragrance because of those wood notes but I would say that it is for an individual who really, really likes and appreciate vanillas, but do not like a vanilla that's too sweet and do not like a vanilla that's too youthful. As far as coconut, for some reason, I don't get a single coconut out of a single coconut note out of this. And I am an avid coconut user and lover. If you're looking for a vanilla scent, but you don't want something that's too childlike, you don't want something that's too juvenile, um, give this a try. It's pretty safe in my opinion. I don't see anyone being repulsed by it. I also don't see anyone turning their neck for it, but I think that's why I like it. Sometimes you just want to smell good. Sometimes you just want to smell like vanilla and you just don't want to do too much. And that's what this is. It's not a head turner. It's not um, something that is groundbreaking, but it's a crowd pleaser. I feel confident in it. I could wear it if I go to the movies. I could wear it if I am running a, a meeting um, at work. So I like it and I really, really enjoy it. That is Madagascar Vanilla Perfume Oil by Nest. I think I'm done as far as the perfumes that's on my list. Let's get into the body sprays. I'm never gonna not have this one in here. This is Victoria's Secret's Bare Vanilla. This one is described as a powdery vanilla that's woodsy, a little bit musky, and ambery as well. And I was describing this to, to my sister as the vanilla that everybody should have in their collection. In my opinion, this vanilla is one to where it is the perfect base layering vanilla. If you have a fragrance with just a little bit of vanilla and you want to bring it out, add bare vanilla to it. If you have a fragrance that there's a nice vanilla note, you want to bring out that vanilla from the initial spray all the way to the dry down, bare vanilla it out. If you need a lotion that's just a plain vanilla lotion that's not too strong, not too sweet, not too sour, not too anything but vanilla, <laughs> bare vanilla it out. <laughs> the notes on this are whipped vanilla, soft cashmere. To me, this is a, mm, this is a very nice vanilla scent and there's something musky about it as well almost like a very silky type of musk and that must be what they mean by cashmere and musk on fragrantica and i can always smell i can also smell that amber as well it's not too gourmand to where it's like you smell like a big cake or you smell like a big cookie you literally just smell like spicy vanilla or a vanilla with a little bit of musk in the background and the one thing I like about it is exactly how it sprayed on, sprays on is how it dries down. And it's also one of those scents to where 
it's not groundbreaking. Nope. Well, somebody might turn their head off of it because it's so safe and it's such a crowd pleaser, but it's not going to hurt people. I really, really enjoy Bare Vanilla. Um, I think it's something that everyone should give a try. And this is very, very cheap. It's only about like $15 at Victoria's Secrets. A lot of times it's like a five for 35 deal. They been running that deal for years, but this is Bare Vanilla. I would suggest having this as well as the lotion. I haven't tried the shower gel yet. I will. It's discontinued on the website, so I need to hurry up and get me some, but this is a vanilla that you cannot go wrong with. The last one that I have on this list is from Bath and Body Works, and this is called Merry Christmas Ice Cinnamon Roll. Now, the reason why I love this and the reason why I brought this out, one, this little thing got amazing lasting power. I am so upset that they did not bring uh, this out in, a long, in the full size, but this is very, very nice. It is exactly what it smells like, iced cinnamon rolls, but there's loads of vanilla in it. What this smells almost identical to, in my opinion, is the Fenty Body Butter, uh, Drop Body Butter, in the new limited edition cinnamon scent. Oh, okay. In the new limited edition cinnamon scent. Put these two together, baby. Oh my gosh, love these. Now I know this is all the rage right now on TikTok and on, um, I wanna say YouTube as well. I, I'm not an Instagram girl, but I think this is all the rage right now. So if you can get your hands on this, I will go ahead and do it. Plus seeing how it's um, limited edition, that's a very nice thing to try to get your hands on. If you cannot get your hands on this, but you want something that's kind of cinnamony and kind of sweet and along the same line, I would get my hands on the cinnamon donut swirl. Now I owe cinnamon donut swirl an apology because when I first got it, I was like, I'm going to take it back. I don't like it. It ain't that good. It smell weird. Smell too orangey. I think I needed to let the oil settle into the lotion because it probably was a fresh batch. But as you can see, I've been tearing cinnamon's donut swirl down. Okay. I have really been feeling cinnamon and I have really been feeling smelling edible and vanilla-ish lately. And this it has brown sugar, sweet cinnamon, and fluffy dough. It's almost like there's something a little bit citrusy in this, and I think it's the brown sugar in it, but it just merges so well with everything. I've worn this with every vanilla perfume that I've mentioned so far, and it smells amazing with all of them, and literally nothing, it doesn't, like, it just makes everything smell better. So I owe you an apology cinnamon donut swirl and I wish I didn't take back the spray and I wish I didn't take up back my backup but you live and you learn <laughs> but anyway try the these are my favorite lotions I kind of mentioned them mentioned them all at once but these are the fav my favorite vanilla lotions I'm wearing right now and this is the spray so that is all that I have thank you so much for sticking around with me this long you are a real one and I hope you have a great rest of your day